We're doing the Morozy protein ingredients by the one and only Hormozy, and we're gonna taste test. And unless you have 100% dental insurance and you're gonna crack a tooth on that shit, I'm not gonna try it again. I don't know what it smells like, but I, I don't know if, if I like the smell. Ugh. For some reason, Hormozy eats this for breakfast, which is just weird, bro. Mr. Hermosi, huh? Thanks, Max Tuning. Thanks, Hormozy. Just three jack dudes doing it here on the internet together. Ladies and gentlemen, before we dive in the video, just wanted to announce Good Company Apparel, our brand, is now live with our first tea drop of the year. This tea plus a couple others. 3sb.co. Use code SILENTMIKE at checkout for a little bit of a discount. Grab it while it's hot. It will sell out. Enjoy the video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Silent Mike, and today we're doing the Morozy protein ingredients by the one and only Hormozy, and we're gonna taste test them. There's no one better in fitness than me. I got the best palate in the entire industry, and Hormozy makes a bunch of different cool reels about um, things that are high in protein and also cost efficient. So we're gonna be trying four of his meals. We're gonna rank them based on taste, cost, and convenience, or how easy it is to cook. I can't be as rich as Hormozy yet, but we can get as jacked and eat as much protein. So be sure to like the video and let's dive in. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. I highly disagree. I actually don't eat breakfast, but I do love cereal. Now Magic Spoon, not sponsored, probably should be. Uh, seems like an Instagram company that was on the come up and Fairlife, as everyone know, is sold out everywhere. Hormozy himself uses a Premier Protein cereal, and I've tried it, and unless you have 100% dental insurance and you're gonna crack a tooth on that shit, I'm not gonna try it again. I used to try it, it was very okay, and he used a Premier Protein shake. Um, cost and macros on the Magic Spoon are very similar to the Premier, so I'm gonna try this, and I've actually never tried it yet. I think it has a hair more uh, fat, maybe like one gram, and this has 13 protein per cup, where the Premier Protein, I'm telling you, you're gonna get a headache from chewing on pebbles. We'll measure these out, got my handy dandy scale. If you don't have a scale, it's a great idea. We'll get an exact cup because when you're eating normal cereal, most people probably overestimate what an actual serving size is. Nice and easy. Oh, they look fluffy. Oh, they look kind of crispy. I'm just gonna eyeball the milk. I don't know what it smells like, but I, I don't know if I like the smell. First ingredient is whey protein. So you can kind of expect the taste, I think, you know? Milk does really make everything better. I don't drink milk by itself because I'm not five years old, but I do add it to everything and I'll eat it with chocolate milk and stuff and it's delicious. Boom. I forgot the protein he said. So that's 13 plus a uh, serving of this guy would be 13. So we're looking at almost 13, uh, 30 grams of protein, um, 20 carb and seven grams of fat. Easy on the go. You could obviously double it up. You could even use a real shake, like those big core powers at 42 grams. So now we're looking at 50 grams if you use the full shake and one serving of this. A little bit of carb if you're gonna use it pre or post workout. Um, not a bad idea. These things, you can literally see there's some browning on them. Like they do look kind of like homemade. I don't know if that's a thing. You know, sometimes you go to Cheerios or these huge companies and everything's like literally a clone. Like it's probably made in an actual lab. Or like these things look like there's different textures going on. Pretty good. Not a ton of taste going on. You get a little bit of the whey protein, fake sugar stuff going on, which you can kind of get with any protein bar. Texture is insane. Texture is really good. Actually better in some cereals, to be honest. They almost uh, taste like a little fried cookie or something with the texture. And then again, milk is just beautiful, right? Milk, cereal, it's more of a texture game than a flavor game. Although there are, you know, you go Reese's Puffs and you want to get thousand grams of diabetes in there. It's probably gonna taste delicious, but overall I would give this solid six and a half out of 10 taste. It's not the best thing ever. Obviously Cocoa Plus are gonna be much better and I'm more of a, a savory guy when I'm coming to my protein intake. I love sweets, I love all food, but it's a little easy. Next, I don't even know if this is called a meal or a recipe, but Hormozy says it's a hundred grams of protein straight off the shelf, no carb, no fat. And it probably is the most cost efficient at that. I can't think of another product beyond egg whites even whey protein, shrimp and some, you know, other fishes have that, maybe tuna in a can, but per cost for 100 grams, egg whites are your best friend. You can cook them, obviously, if you're a human, but Hormozy is not. So we're going to 
he opens this thing and just shoves chocolate in there. I was hoping for a ratio or a recommendation of ratio to our chocolate sauce. I couldn't find sugar-free, but this thing's got no fat, 12 carb per serving. I got my beautiful little wine glasses, so I'll probably do like a, a two to one ratio, which would be a great pre or post workout, right? Let's not, let's not demonize carbs here. Carbs are great, chocolate's delicious. Um, and I got my handy dandy frother. He says you hear gains in the bottle. I don't sound like gains to me. The only issue with egg whites is texture because they don't really have a taste, but it's like child snot, you know? Ugh. 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 Since this is a fitness channel, I got to do this stuff for you. I would much rather be at Subway eating the footlong cookie or at Wendy's with their brand new cinnamon roll or Taco Bell, I think it's got gelato Baja Blast. That would be much more fun. But do you see the sacrifices I make for y'all? If you like this video and you want more food action, let me know below recipes you want me to try or other creators recipes you want me to try and we'll try to get jacked. Or I mean, if it's delicious, I won't be mad. What do you do here? That's it? Yeah, just let it pour out. I don't know how much. He just does that? This is gonna get gross, I think. There is a product out there, again, not sponsored, probably should be, called Muscle Egg that basically does this for you. And it actually does taste really good. 100 grams or eating whatever this is, two quarts, I'm definitely never doing. If you want an emergency crawling on all four knees, ripping your shirt off, calling for your mommy bathroom experience, by all means, if gains are life, do it. But I'm never drinking that much egg whites. Chocolatey enough? I think so. All right, here we go. Cheers to you boys. It's good. The egg whites really do have no flavor. Um, and I didn't even put that much chocolate in, so it just has a hint of chocolate because, you know, we're watching our carbs around here. It's springtime cut time. Um, but that could easily be something if you want to get some, some quick carbs, some quick protein in, I would do it. Uh, I, again, I'm not drinking this whole 32 ounces. I got a sensitive stomach, man. That's going to jack me up. If, if you're Barquan, shout out to Barquan. That dude's got a goat living in his stomach. That dude can eat anything and then go run a marathon. I can't. Again, taking into account cost, taste, and how easy it is to make or acquire, um, that that's pro probably, if we're taking the meathead mindset, that might be like a nine out of 10. Um, it tastes fine. Like, is it delicious? No, but it, it literally, if you put enough chocolate in there, it will taste like chocolate milk. Um, you can find those ingredients anywhere, probably even some gas stations. So when you're traveling, et cetera, obviously every grocery store. Uh, and then cost is pretty good, man. A hundred grams for five bucks. And there's probably even cheaper ones, you know, maybe a nine out of, out of 10 on the, on the gains efficiency cost scale. Frozen shrimp is a great option. It is something that I'll air fry. I'm not much of a cocktail type guy, but it seems like for some reason Hormoz eats this for breakfast, which is just weird, bro. Like, I don't know what time he wakes up if he's on that, you know, optimized grind where he's, I know he's not actually, I was going to talk a bunch of shit. Uh, he's not waking up at 3 a.m. to do his cold plunge and sun his balls. And that's why I like the guy. He's no BS, but I'm not waking up even at 6 or 7 a.m. and thinking, wow, can't wait to get downstairs to eat raw shrimp. Um, but Luckily for us, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon and I can't eat a little raw shrimp. He does tartare sauce, which is the, or tartar. I think it depends on how fancy you are. That is like the typical seafood go-to sauce. I don't have any and I'm not that much of a fan and it has more calories than sriracha. So I would suggest something like a, a, a soy sauce, um, even no sugar added barbecue sauces and ketchups. And then uh, a little sriracha is a great option. So I'm actually just going to sprinkle this on top. You, you know, you could dip, you could do whatever you want. A little bit on the shrimp. You thaw the shrimp out easy. A nice little strip there. Basically fat-free, pure protein, pure gains, and a cute little sea critter form. Oh. Oh. Not bad. Not bad. Make sure a little spicy. Nice little kick there. Be sure to get them de-veined and all that. You can unshell it if you want to get crazy, but the convenience of this really makes it perfect. And if you have an air fryer or even a pan, you can cook it up so quick. It's so easy. A hair of olive oil or butter. Um, you can throw it on rice or something like that. But even by itself, perfect option for protein. If we got to rate it, 
Raw shrimp ain't my favorite, um, but I'll still go a solid like eight out of 10. A little kick on there, shrimp tastes fine. I, I do like shrimp, but for me, I'd at least try to cook it. He, he's obviously trying to be super convenient, but a nice air fry will take you five minutes. You can get a little bit of crispy with some uh, butter on top or olive oil on top, and then dip it or put it on whatever you want. Um, it is something that I'll go to here and there. I can't eat shrimp every day. You know, chicken and ground beef are my go-tos. Something with my palate or it just starts to get a little weird, like I'm living in, you know, like I'm freaking Aquaman or something. It just gets weird in my mouth. But uh, to break up the diet here and there, shrimp's a great option. This is basically the meal I have for lunch every single day. I'll throw these together, sometimes with a light ketchup, fat-free cheese to spice things up. But today we're gonna try his sauce and he particularly does it with cauliflower. So he does a light mayo, which if we're digging in is uh, 39 servings in this whole thing, uh, 35 calories per, that's three fat, one gram of carb. And I will warn you, I'm not a huge mayo guy. Um, if it's mixed up with some stuff like spicy mayo, you know, a bunch of sushis, I will eat it. Um, but I'm not drenching mayo on things. And again, it, even the light version has three grams of fat. If you're dieting or even just semi-conscious of, of your body composition, you want to keep your fats a little bit lower. It's just harder to... Even the texture. I don't know. I don't know how you guys eat mayo like this. Where I'm from... Uh-oh, scale's not working. Oh, shit. How much do we put in? You think that's 15 grams? Uh, where I'm from, Argentina, man, they be putting mayo on everything like crazy, bro. I'm gonna put more of this than he did. He probably did like a little dab of that. You just mix her up. Then you take your ground beef. I buy 97 lean, which I think is key here, especially if you're dieting. But even if you're not, then you can get your fats going in a different way. Um, about $6 for a full pound. Uh, and if you're a larger man like myself or lady, you know, I'm 200 pounds. So getting over 200 grams of protein a day is the goal for me while I'm dieting to stay satiated and maintain as much muscle. Um, cauliflower rice was about two bucks, but any veggie, frozen veggies are perfectly healthy for you. And that's also about a dollar to two bucks. You dump it all together. And then uh, I do love his tip of how he um, saves the sauce. And what he does is basically puts a little bit on each bite. Um, that's something I do with salads. I'll actually take a dry salad and I will dip my fork in the dressing and then pick up the sauce with that so you're not getting a bunch of extra calories. If I were to eat this, which I, I think I might, it might be lunchtime, I would probably dump this whole thing in there, stir it up, probably add some cheese, and then we'll get real busy with it. Grab a little beef, a little bit of rice, a little bit of veggies. Mr. Hermosi, huh? It's pretty good. Sriracha so is spicier. Maybe I'm getting old. Spice is spicier than I remember. Not sponsored. Should be. Hamburgers and margaritas. Nothing goes better. Thanks, Max Tuning. Thanks, Hormozy. Just three jack dudes doing it here on the internet together. If I had to rank this one, because we're taking it a cost, convenience, and taste, that egg white one was so convenient, and that's why I got a nine, right? It's the easiest thing to cook. This, you kind of have to cook. Uh, you don't got to be Chef Boyardee, but you got to cook a little bit. So I would give this one just below, like a seven. I'll give that one a nine. I'll give this like an eight, eight and a half. Um, this is my favorite meal. You can still cook it in less than 10 minutes. Um, but if you're comparing it to the egg whites, the egg whites takes the cake. It's so easy, tastes pretty dang good, um, and has like zero calories. If you made it this far in the video, man, be sure to give this thing a like. Let's see if we can reach 500 or maybe even a thousand likes like the old days. Appreciate you guys so much. We're dropping vlogs all the time. Brand new channel, link in the bio. Check it out, Mike Farr. Weekly vlogs showing you a little bit BTS, my traveling. Uh, a little bit more who I am on the outside of fitness, business stuff, life. Um, so thanks so much. Shout out to Hormozy and all the content he puts out. I've read both his books years ago before opening the gym. Uh, super great content creator, super great guy. Seems to be truly trying to help people. And uh, I think his information is truly invaluable. So check it out. Solid Mike, 3SB.co. New tea drop is live. Catch it. Hopefully it's not sold out. Appreciate you guys. Catch you in the next one. We over me, Solid Mike. Later, y'all.